love, I don't need it, you can keep it, that's a fact I, I had to make up my mind, my mind I took that weight off my shoulder I took that weight off my shoulder Oh my God, you guys, you will never believe what happened last night, y'all. So y'all, I'm just so disappointed in Jania. I cannot get with her right now, you guys. Jania's been with NBA Youngboy, so she knows who his real enemies are. She knows who YB talks to, and she knows who he doesn't talk to. Jania knows a lot more about YB than we think she does. So I'm not giving her no pass for effing with the op, y'all. Seriously, y'all, Frito Bang was G Money's best friend. He has a photo of him and G Money on his Instagram page dated June 14th, and it says, Standing behind you until I'm on side you. What confuses me about what Jania is doing, you guys, is that she wants us to think that she's innocent and that she's playing victim and that she doesn't know what she's doing. No, Jania is hurt. Jania wants her get back at NBA Youngboy because when she was pregnant, NBA Youngboy was with a different girl literally every month. And I know that that hurt Jania because at the time she was pregnant with baby Casey and she probably wasn't getting no peen and she was all in her emotions. Releasing all of her anger on the internet. And I have been saying, y'all, since Jania dropped that baby, that as soon as she bounced back from not being pregnant anymore, all hell was finna break loose. I just would never expect for Jania to even mess with Fredo, though. It's just like Jania is so gullible, you guys. She's young, dumb, and Because full honestly, of cum, if Jania wouldn't have so much hate in her heart, she would have been able to realize what Fredo is doing and what he has under his sleeve. For instance, he posted this on his Instagram story. A real live conversation between him and NBA Youngboy's enemy, G Money. And that wasn't even it, you guys. I guess that wasn't enough for Jania. So she needed to do something a little more extreme to get YB's attention. And then y'all that's not even it i'm guessing that wasn't enough disrespect for jania towards yb so she just had to go a little further to make sure that she hit a nerve <laughs> oh shit i feel loaded right now It's on my big gang stuff. Turn around with it for what I know. And y'all, don't even forget on August 15th when Jania was going live in her little Ethica 2 piece. Y'all remember when Frito Bang was commenting on her live talking about he liked Ethica? And then also when Jania was on live with baby Casey, he commented, he's so handsome. And then a lot of people was wondering why Fredo Bang was basically trying to join Jania's live. And we was all thinking that he was really just trying to put some pressure on her because maybe he was trying to talk to her or something. We really didn't have the whole story back then. However, y'all, Jania was talking to Fredo the whole time, y'all. Y'all see right here, she's following him and his TBG fan Everyone page. knows that when YB was like 15, that he was friends with Fredo and G Money. Yes. However, they fell out and NBA Youngboy left and TBG. went and created NBA. And that is when all his fame started. And I'm guessing he moved on with his life. However, I don't think that Fredo ever got over what YB did. And I also think that Fredo thinks that YB might have had something to do with his friend's passing. So after Jania went live with Fredo, basically she was really on FaceTime with him and Fredo was on Instagram Live. And he showed his Instagram Live who he was on FaceTime with and then that's when Jania basically hung up the phone. And you could see from the live that he tried to call back, but she declined his After call. After Jania declined Fredo's call, he posted this to his Insta story and said, gangsters got feelings too. Y'all, like the internet literally blew up last night because everyone was just so shocked and appalled and they they really just could not even believe their own eyes when they seen that Jania was on FaceTime with Fredo. OG33 seen what was going on and I'm guessing that he also seen that live with Jania on the phone with Fredo because he posted on his Instagram. I told my little brother no need to be hurt. You been knew this guy got you in every situation you in. 
just know ain't no love. It's been shown 100%. And I do believe he was talking about Jania because she has been showing NBA young boy that she does not love him anymore or has feelings for him. I am telling y'all, ever since Jania got that Tata -ta job, she has just been top 304. Literally, literally, you guys, she's been through three Louisiana rappers since she pushed out baby Casey. Y'all, I know everybody and their mama seen Jania on live with Fredo because even NBA Youngboy's little sister has something to say. And y'all know when the little sister stopped following the baby mama, it's something wrong. NBA Youngboy's little sister basically subliminally told Jania on her Instagram story that you wonder why I cut you, you off. Because you F with the op. This Leo tart that Jania has on with these camouflage army shorts, I'm going to refer to this outfit as her whole slut fit because it just seems like that when she put that on that morning, she just knew her whole day was going to be thought city. I never thought Jania could mess up so much in one day, y'all. It's like I seen her on live with her auntie in this outfit. I seen her taking pictures with fans in this outfit. I seen her on live with Fredo in this outfit. I seen her twerking and doing the splits in this outfit, girl. And then, y'all, NBA Youngboy's mom, Sharonda Gall, didn't even post it on her Instagram story after she also seen Jania on Live with Fredo and said, a person will push you to your breaking point and then play victim. I honestly knew she was talking about Jania because why else would she post? I mean, Jania was on Live with Fredo at like midnight. And then Miss Sharonda also posted today, being nice to somebody doesn't mean you not effing over them at the same time. And that's what everybody is trying to get Jania to realize. She's thinking since Fredo is being nice to her and hasn't given her a reason not to trust him, that his intentions are no, not really bad. Jania to get with the program already. Another please. thing that stood out to me on Fredo's live was this girl named Sanika. And she had commented on Fredo's live and said, it is a beautiful day to pass away. If y'all do not know who this girl is that circled on Fredo's live, that is G Money's baby mama. She has kids by that man. And just for her to be on Fredo's live saying something like this, it makes me think that her and Fredo really has some like pact or to something. get back at YB for what happened to G Money. And I feel like that maybe the baby mama had gave Fredo the idea to mess with YB's baby mama Jania because Everyone knows that Control loves Jania, but they just have differences right I now. I feel like, honestly, Fredo is just trying to get a reaction out of NBA Youngboy, seeing as he's already out on bail for something that happened previously. NBA Youngboy hasn't been on the internet much unless he's appearing on KL Marie's Instagram story or he's shooting a music video or releasing a song. Other than that, we really have not heard much from YB, and I feel like that Fredo is testing his luck to see if he can really get YB's attention by going through Jania Michelle and baby Casey. Another one of NBA Youngboy's associate posted on her Instagram story, these 304s out here evil and despicable AF. I don't care how bad I fall out with a guy and how much I hate him, I'm never gonna go F with a nigga ops. Don't F with street guys if you're not ready for everything that come with it. Loyalty over everything. Don't ever cross those who had love for you and put you in a position. Because Janine Michelle is out here so under the impression that she got all this fame by herself. She's saying that she got this fame from the personality God gave her. But I'm her. guessing she forgetting them long nights that she was laid up in that hotel lobby on the couch while YB had his snack, his new snack of the month in the hotel room with him doing what they was doing and Jania was on live in the lobby looking sad. I feel like Jania is famous because NBA Youngboy dogged her out and the world felt sorry for and her. And y'all know I am not lying when I say Jania never act like this, y'all. She didn't got that little 1.2 million followers and her sponsorship deals and got her website and stuff popping. And now she feel like that she good, which she is. But she, I mean, be humble, girl. You got here. So y'all know every time something is happening with Jania, Arabian be tweeting what, she, what is on her mind. So I went to Arabian's Twitter, y'all, to see what Arabia had to say about everything and she didn't got herself suspended.
So a fan actually hit up Jania Michelle to get her take on everything. And Jania's like, I promise I don't talk to him, but I get what you're saying. I love you. I already know y'all really love me when nobody else was messing with me. And then so Jania says at the bottom, please don't dick ride me. Just love me. But how can we love you, Jania, if you're making it hard, if you're messing with the enemy? A few other people had some things to say about Miss Jania. And let's look at them right here in this next clip. And another thing I wanted to point out, you guys, is someone named Unique Spam commented on a fan page and said that Fredo's friend called Jania's business phone, and when she answered it, it was Fredo. That's why she hung up. And so then quick. she was like, "But if they've been talking, why would he just do this now?" It seems like all of YB's T pages, the Jania Shade Rooms, as well as all of the other T pages, are clearly over Jania. And this is what one of them had to say. And so someone else said, I don't care how bad YB crossed her. The G code is to never play get back for get back, nor F with the op. I was on her side this whole time, bro. And now she want to do something like this. Finish her. Jania, you crossed the line, and period. you knew that this was all going to come out soon. Another thing I wanted to point out was that Jania just got that business phone last week, y'all. So I don't even, that's not even true with the friend calling her business Jania phone. Jania had already let us know that she had changed her phone number and only two people had her phone number. And she ain't even had her business phone a week yet. So how all of a sudden Fredo Homeboy got her business number? I totally think that Jania should have all the way thought out her decisions because she posted on her Instagram. Instagram story today that she was getting threats towards her and her baby but what would you expect Jania and then y'all that wasn't even it after Fredo and Jania got off live it seemed like Jania got on Fredo's butt and was like you better fix it so he goes live and he says hey um I don't even know chick like that girl. I was just talking to her about booking her for a video shoot I don't even know shit like that. They both lying. Jania mad because she got caught. Uh, What did you expect, girl? Jania is such a bad liar. We know that she's been talking to Fredo, even though he said they weren't. Because that's honestly the lamest excuse you could come up with. You're basically saying your management team hit up Jania's management team so that she could appear in one of your music videos. That's just as worse as y'all being caught on FaceTime together. And then y'all remember that one time Jania got body slammed in the hotel room and YB made her get on live and lie to us. And she actually sounded just like Fredo did. Uh, Kentrell, I bet you can't pull me. I bet you can't pull me. I'm stronger than you. You know, just playing with him. Just playing on his top. You feel me? I bet you can't pull me. Ha ha, I'm stronger than you. He was like, Jania, you're not stronger than me. So if you leave, see in the video, he said, Nini, come here. Nini, come here. Nini, come here. So, I mean, that video is us playing. What's the difference between this video of us playing and the video in the airport of us playing? When I had that red jacket on, and as soon as we saw people watching us playing, we waved. And last but not least, you guys, I had my nosy self in the comments. And so the shade page had basically posted the rest of the live between Jania and Fredo. And someone has some really good ears because they heard what Jania was talking to Fredo about and said that she was talking about her outfit and then asked him why he got glasses on. But when he asked if she was rushing him off the phone, she said no. So honestly, that was not a business conversation. They were having a personal conversation. And Jania has been messing with Fredo since last month, you guys. Love Paul. Love Paul. Yeah. 
You still playing me like this, man. Huh? You still playing me like this. <laughs> Why you got these fucking glasses on? What the fuck? Trying to hide the pain. So long, so long. Sleeping from soap with a soap. Sleeping from soap with a soap. Now I'ma step on these little bitty bitches. Hit some brand new Gucci loads. Some Gucci walking on. I got tired of eating Big Mama's chicken. Now it's business when I want. Watch out,